Hi everyone, my name is Alan and today I'm going to show you 5 different TypeScript tricks for Angular in just 5 minutes. So trick number 1 is for when we have to work with JSON data received from a third-party API or a backend service that does not provide type information. The idea is to use tools to generate type data because types are really one of the best features of TypeScript, so we really want to use them. With JSON2TS.com, you can copy-paste your JSON, click one button, and you get interfaces with the proper types inferred, including properties that are optional and even nested objects. So it's really powerful and a huge time saver that I use pretty much every day. Trick number two is for data that we have to retrieve from different endpoints. Sometimes we have to make different HTTP requests to build a specific object. In my example here, we have three properties that come from one request and a final property options that comes from another HTTP request. And the problem is that the TypeScript compiler doesn't really like objects that do not have all of the required properties. So in my case here, options is a missing property. I could make it optional in TypeScript in my interface, but that would be cheating. So instead, TypeScript gives us a generic type called partial. And it allows us to do exactly that, build an object in a temporary state that does not have all of its properties yet. So problem solved, we don't have to change our interface, and the compiler is happy. Trick number three is to use union types instead of enums. And that's because enums in TypeScript, they don't have that many features compared to other languages, and they end up being compiled to a big monster of JavaScript that basically takes space in, in your code. On the other hand, if you use union types, they are much shorter and leaner. They are just strings in my example here. And they don't get compiled into anything, which is great. You can also have more complexity with them and uh, use them as a combination of more complex types, which is also great. Trick number four is the nullish coalescing operator, or the double question mark, which allows us to simplify our code a lot when we want to assign a default value to a variable if a value is null or undefined. So that's something that we do a lot, and in the past, smart JavaScript developers, they've been using the logical OR operator to do that. But the thing is, zero, not a number, and empty strings are falsy values in, in JavaScript. So if your value is zero or an empty string, then we have a problem, and you might end up using the default value by accident. And this behavior is fixed by the double question mark operator. So that's why I suggest to, to use it. it. It is much better from that perspective. And the final trick I wanted to share with you today is path mapping, because nobody likes very long imports like this one, import something from dot dot slash dot dot slash dot dot. So instead we want them short and sweet, like this talk for instance. So the solution to, to do that is to edit your TS config file and add all of the paths that you want to be able to shorten. And then, as soon as you've done that, you can use these shorter import names in your code and the compiler will know where to find those folders. So these were my five TypeScript tricks for today. Use json to ts.com to generate your type information automatically. Use partial to build objects piece by piece. Use union types instead of enums because they're more efficient. Use the nullish coalescing operator, the double question mark, because it is safer than the logical OR operator. And finally, using path mapping to simplify our verbose TypeScript imports. Thanks a lot for your attention, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.